Now, according to a report, the largest federal law enforcement agency in the United States, Department of Homeland Security, is growing concerned about the Havana syndrome affecting U.S. nationals. Havana syndrome is believed to be the symptoms resulting from mysterious directed energy attacks, which can have potential brain damage, damaging impact on a person. The report has been published by The Intercept. It cites a memo sent by DHS Deputy Undersecretary for Management, Radolf D. Ailes. The memo urges all employees to report unexplained health incidents, especially, quote, multiple symptoms following an unusual auditory or sensory event. In fact, the DHS memo, according to The Intercept, highlights what symptoms a person suffering from the Havana syndrome would experience. The memo states, and I quote, an intense, high-pitched, piercing sound followed by unexplained specific medical symptoms, including hearing loss, dizziness, ringing in the ears, or tinnitus, tinnitus, that is, balance problems, fatigue, trouble concentrating, and vision changes, unquote. The still unexplained attacks have reportedly caused sickness and even brain damage in U.S. diplomats and intelligent officials in Cuba, China, Russia, and other countries. U.S. State Department officials stationed in Cuba first experienced the symptoms in 2016, hence the Monica Havana syndrome. The concern over these mysterious brain-damaging incidents is real and growing within the U.S. administration. Earlier this month, the U.S. National Security Council announced that it was investigating such incidents, which have affected nearly 130 people. Meanwhile, the CIA has formed a special team to collect intel. Recent media reports state that officials are increasingly worried about such attacks occurring on U.S. soil, with one reported just outside the White House and another in Miami, Florida. Since the first attacks were reported in Cuba and after that in China, scientists and doctors debated the causes and effects without a uniform conclusion, while some suspect Moscow to be behind, the, behind that. The mechanism for such attacks has yet to be explained. Scientists have theorized that the attacks arise from pulse microwaves. Reports also suggest that some members of U.S. Congress have been informed of the more recent incidents in closed-door intelligence briefings. U.S. Senators Mark Warner and Marco Rubio welcomed the investigation and say that those behind the attacks will be identified and held accountable. However, there are critics and skeptics of the Havana syndrome who doubt whether the symptoms have been correctly reported or even caused by pulsed microwaves. In fact, the memo by the Department of Homeland Security itself adds, and I quote, the precise nature of the injuries suffered by affected personnel is varied and whether common cause exists for all individuals regardless of location has not yet been established, end of quote.